Welcome back to Somsta Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're going to play Epic Palace Knossos. Now this is a city builder set in the Bronze Ages. So let's go. Start a brand new game. Play the authentic version because why not? You can also play the alternatives. The difference is whether the other countries essentially follow the historical guidelines or not. So we're going to go with authentic. And this is our beautiful place, as you can see. Now, the game is split into different areas. So here we've got our essentially agriculture area. Here we've got our palace and our throne room, which is going to be important. And here is our sort of villages area where we can build houses and etc. We have three workers and we can tell them to do things. Over here we've got food. So typically you need to pay something in order to build a specific building. For example, in order to build these wheat fields, we need three food that's just going to be gone. We need one worker who's going to come back once this thing is finished. And this is going to give us wheat. So we're going to build this and one of our workers is working over here to build this. Next, I'm going to send a worker here to slaughter the goats. You might wonder why we're we killing the goats because we're going to build a place for sheep so that we can get owl. Here you can see all the available resources in the game and then we can also gain specific upgrades because in order to build some things you might need a specific upgrade. Like a specific... It's not exactly knowledge because knowledge is a, spe a special thing but you can kind of imagine it like a knowledge in a specific area. Now because we finished the wheat fields we can now build a palace. This is really important because it's going to give us uh, in the palace sorry we can build a pottery. It's super important so that we can get ceramics and we can also build a herd of sheep in the area of surroundings and olive three. So I'm going to once this is slaughtered I'm going to build the herd of sheep but first let's here build the pottery. And essentially we are using up the work until this is finished and then we can build one more thing. So I'm actually gonna well actually I can I build the olive tree no because I don't have the food. So we're actually gonna get the food in a moment. So let's here build the herd of sheep and then I am going to here set up olive tree so that we can get all the buildings that we need. Now we're going to run out of food so afterwards I'm going to go here towards the goats and I'm actually going to tell someone to milk them so that we can get three goats. But we don't have the workers for that just yet. We can speed it up by hitting space. So we're going to finish up the pottery and now we're going to send the worker there to get the milk. Now we can now build a storeroom which allows us to store more things but we don't actually need that just yet. So let me just send somebody here to milk the goats. And we can build a weaver, which is also pretty cool. Now in the wheat fields, we have a maximum of 10 and then you can kind of harvest it all at once. Similarly with the olive trees, we have a certain maximum. So we can see there's now one olive there. Now I'm going to send someone to the wheat fields because I have the person. Now here at, in Troy, a trader is coming. He wants one olive and three food and he's going to give us knowledge and what is this? Incense. Okay, so we definitely need an olive. So we're gonna send a worker here to get some olive and then we're gonna handle stuff with Troy. Now we can build some new things. We can now build a small storeroom but for that we need pottery. This is going to help us with storage because we've got maximum 10 storage so for food and we can get more but occasionally that means that they're actually going to be wasting some of the food. So it's a good idea to have more. However for that you need quite a lot of pottery. So it's really important that you can get that here. You can do the craft pythos, which will give you... It will give you... Yeah, that will that will also give you the food. Or you can just build a storeroom over here. It's also an option. No, no, sorry, sorry. I said it wrong. Here in the potter, you can get the card that will give you more food storage. And then here, you're going to get more storage for other things. Like other than food which is kind of important. Now another thing, the whole goal of the game is to gain a reputation and you gain reputation by doing trades and things like that but also by making your throne room prettier. So first thing I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna send a worker here to try so we're gonna get some good stuff and we'll try to get more ceramics but then we can jump into the throne room and we can make it prettier so we can kind of look around in here and we could say hey wouldn't it be nice to have uh, have maybe a chair over here. You could build a chair and this will give us, actually, I mean, this is like a very sparse turn. I'm like, <laughs> clearly 
we're not the queen who focuses on luxury because we just want to give to our people. <laughs> that one tiny chair! That's my throne! Don't dare call it a chair! Okay, we're gonna go milk some goats because we got nothing better to do. And we're delivering our stuff to Troy, which is going to give us knowledge. Knowledge is needed for some actions, for example, like diplomacy and things like that. Now, the one of the main sort of constraint in the game in the beginning is workers, but in order to get a new worker, we would first need to find a weaver, which we could build, but in order to build a weaver, we actually need, actually, we just need food, so we could build a weaver immediately. I don't know if that's a good idea though. Let's check what this guy wants. They want more pottery and that's gonna give us wool and knowledge. So let's do that. And we should try to get some more food as soon as this person finishes. Now the problem with the trade is that it takes a really long time for the workers to finish up the trade. So you, what might happen is that you're not gonna be able to get as much food than other things. Now let me check what the theater wants. They want 10 food. So this is a problem, right? Because you only have a maximum of 10 storage. We, it's hard for us to sort of catch the right moment to do the theater. So let me actually milk these goats again. This is going to get us to exactly 10 and then we'll use the theater. Or actually we could have gotten... We can get 4 times 1 wool or 4 times 3 food from the sheep. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to go towards the sheep. Now another thing I'd like to do is this craft this these pythos. So we could have a maximum of 12 storage for food, but for that we need the knowledge. So we got the knowledge now. So I'm actually gonna do this. We only have one knowledge, so we can't do it just yet. Let's, uh, we're getting the food. Let's get some olive trees. It's gonna be important. And then we need to send someone to do wheat fields. Now, diplomacy is super important. You cannot ignore diplomacy, because if you do, then the relationship with the city is going to get worse. And if it gets worse, you get worse deals with them. So you definitely want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So we want to do this like ASAP. Except, oh, are we not going to have enough food? Because this is going to get us up only to nine. Oh, so we can do the theater again. This is super irritating. Let's just, uh, this is 35 seconds. This is 84 seconds. You could slaughter the sheep, but that's kind of pointless. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna build the- oh, I can still can build the star thing. Let's just milk some uh, sheep for wool, that's kind of pointless. And milk some goats again. Oh, and we gotta send somebody here. No! I, I, I didn't- I used up the people and now I can't send anyone here. This is a bit- no, don't leave! Oh man, and we were just ready for it, but I kind of used the person. That's unfortunate. But can we at least get the theater done? Will that person be done with this? Yes, yes, we can do it now. No, we can't. No! We lost both of these things. Okay, now we lost a lot of prestige. This is a huge problem. But at least we could do this with Biblo. So we would need a weaver for this, which I could build. So let's do that. And we'll send someone to the wheat field, I guess. Oh, I was so ready to do that, but then I kind of didn't click on that, right? But we could do this. Ugarit. Okay, that's pretty cool. We gotta do that. Let's do this deal. So this is going to give us the knowledge so that we can increase our storage, which is super important. Now we finished Weaver, so we could build a residence to get more people. I'm also going to turn some wool into some clothes, because why not? Biblos wants, yeah, we need that one set of clothes, so we're going to do that. And in the throne room, we could build something new if you wanted to, but we're going to wait a little bit, I think. What do I need for the residence? Oh, a lot of clothes. Okay. I could get that close though. But first, let's go to Biblos handle this. And we should get some good stuff from this deal. Yeah, we're gonna get some knowledge. Great. Let's uh, get more ceramic so that we could get... Get that storage up. And then we're gonna need to build how much clothes? Four sets of clothes. Okay. I think it's worth it. I think getting more people is like the most important thing we can get right now. Now, if we go into the throne room, could we build something cheap? It actually says zero everywhere, so I can't build anything new here right now. Okay. Don't have the knowledge for that. Where's my third person? Oh yeah, he's making pottery. 
All right, let's now focus on crafting. Still, we can craft a pedal, so one more. All right, diplomat, we gotta do this ASAP. So as soon as one of our people is done, we're gonna send them to Avaris because we cannot afford to make the same mistake as last time. That was very, very bad, but it's it's okay. Okay, he's almost done. I'll send him to Avaris, do it. But yeah, you can see that now we're gonna have a pretty long time without uh, workers. Now, if you run out of food, you lose, you won't be able to do any action. So it's something that you don't want to happen. We definitely want to send someone to the wheat fields, probably the person from Biblos, the trader over there. Like, I think the game is fine with you, like missing out on trades, but you shouldn't be missing out on diplomats. Okay, another trader, what do you want? Pottery, yeah, we can't do that. We need to first handle uh, our storage. So the person from Midblast is coming back. You can actually see it here with the with the ship, which I think is quite nice. Let's actually look a bit closer. And later on, we could get our own merchant ships. But for that, let me just send the person here while we talk about it. For this, we actually need like... Um, nautical knowledge or upgrade nautical upgrade i should say and in order to get that you get these upgrades from these trades essentially so we have a lot of knowledge now and what we could do with it is we could start getting the spot ray for example yeah and we're gonna need more food for clothes we have zero set of clothes okay what do we have so much of oh olives okay we could actually turn olives into olive oil, which can be pretty interesting. Let's get another set of clothes. We need we need four of these set. Okay. And we should probably also get another set of pottery. We'll do that. Yeah, we'll probably ignore this last trader. And just try to focus on maybe getting an extra worker and increasing that storage. Yeah, let's do one more pottery. Okay, and, and we'll do one more set of clothes. So we'll have two clothes now. Okay. And I believe... Yeah, that's the last pottery. So after that, oh, we have a new diplomat who needs one set of wool. Okay, so we'll do the wool first, I think. Get me my wool. It's going to get actually my my close to a limit. So we're gonna set, send someone to craft the pythos just because I need to get rid of some of my stuff. And this diplomat will need one wool and one pottery. That should be fairly easy to get. Okay, one pottery is what we need, and we have the wool, so I think we can. No, we don't have this yet. So let's just uh, let's just get some food. And for the ceremony, we're going to need 10 food as always, but a priority is going to be the diplomat. Come on, get it. Okay, go to, go to the diplomat. Great. We need two more sets of clothes. Now for the theater, we need two ceramics, which we don't have. So we need to start working on ceramics so that we can get the theater going because that lost our reputation a lot last time. So that's really bad. We also need to make sure we have surplus of food. So I'm going to send someone to milk the goat so that we can get the surplus. Okay, one more time for the pottery and then we can do the theater. Assuming that they managed to milk the goats. Yeah, we'll just ignore this Ashkelon trader, sorry. I now have more storage, that's great, so I could focus on the weaver. Yeah, that cost me two food, no, I need the food for the theater. So let's send someone to get even more food. And as soon as this person is done, she's now, we'll send them to do the theater. Oh, it needs two workers? Come on, the game is like being very mean today. Okay, now, no, 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 go. Whew, we made it, we made it. Yeah, this trader, sorry, thank you. Here we go the way. Successful celebration. Okay, we're gonna need to slaughter... Actually, let's slaughter the goats. We, we need food like Asa. And then I would like to work on more clothes. We need two more sets of clothes. So that we can get that new worker. Now, we can't do anything now because we don't have the food. Okay, one more set of clothes. No, we don't have the wool now. So let's get the wool. And 
Can I build a storage room? For that I need pottery. So let's try to get more pottery because we, we do need more storage now as well. Okay, almost done with the wool, which will get me that worker. That worker that we desperately need. Okay, go. And uh, 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 potentially we might want to build one more set of wheat fields. But first I think we'll just try to get a bit more food right now. What did yeah, you trade one? You want wool and food. I can give you that. I think. But first, let me build the resident. For residents, we need three potter. And let's just give them the wool and the food. And then, how much did it say? Three potter. And 12 food. So the, the irritating thing is going to have to be a maximum food again. Which is always, is not completely ideal. No, how difficult it is to get that right with maximum food. Um, two potter. That'll be, so let me milk some goats. Oh, it's only going to give me one though. Should have done the wheat instead. Actually, we could do the wheat now. That ticket is going to be exactly 12. And then we should be able to build this resident. We need all three workers for this though. Really? That's a bit irritating. So we have to time that like perfectly. So in the meantime, we're going to have to build, I think, the small storage room probably. It's going to because we're going to be filled up on storage anyways. On for, for theater, we need two and ten. Let's do that then. Why can't I do this? Oh, I didn't have the workers. So we'll do this first. For the magazine, we need five food. We'll slaughter the sheep again. We can. Oh, we were just so close, and now we can't get it done. Okay. Slaughter the sheep so we get my food. And we gotta get more pottery done. This needs four pottery. This as well, and this needs only three. Oh, a diplomat. Okay, now I can... I still cannot build this. Okay, one more pottery. Get up to 18. Or the 12 food. Okay, we'll try to go do the wheat fields now. But yeah, this guy's gonna take forever, so we won't be able to build that. So we'll do the storage room at least. Let's build the storage room. God, we're missing a person. Come on, game! Okay, now. Now we can build this. What does the diplomat want? Two pottery. Okay, so as soon as they're done with this, we'll build, we'll get more pottery. Yeah. Send one of you to do pottery and one of you to slaughter the goats. That might actually time up well, but remember, we do have to handle the diplomat. So I am probably going to have to send someone here once we get that second set of pottery. We might have enough for this, but yeah, like this needs three pottery, only have one. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna have to send someone here first. This person wants olive oil. I guess we could send someone here as well because we we've got we have to wait for the traders anyway. And then once the first trader comes, we could... We could send him to get more food in the wheat field. Oh, more diplomats, that's not ideal. Keeping it on fast forward. Alright, get more fields. And then we have to start getting that residence. All right, so someone needs to go do pottery. We're just gonna ignore everything else until we build that house, I think. We're just gonna ignore all the diplomats. We probably shouldn't, but I feel like we need to get moving with that extra person. And if we just, if we can make that diplomat, then that's fine. 
Okay, now we've got all people, so let's build the construction house. Oh, if we don't have the food, let's milk the goats then. That's 35 seconds. This takes also 35 seconds, so we can let someone do pottery while we're waiting. Uh, I think we'll just wait right now. But just ignore that diplomat, sorry. Okay, now let's build this residence. He wants four food. We have no food. <laughs> That's okay though. Send someone to the field. Alright. Now we can build a th new throne room thing and archive. Okay, let's send someone here. Someone to do pottery. Oh, we've, we've got no food, so we can literally do nothing. In that case, let's send someone to... No, we don't want to slaughter the sheep. We'll get ten there. Maybe we'll be actually able to make it go. Yeah, I was able to send someone there. This trader, we can also send someone there. And this last diplomat needs two pottery. Okay, let's send someone to slaughter the goats again. And this diplomat just need pottery and food. Okay, now in the throne room, could I make something? It's actually not showing me anything surprisingly. So you might be able to build something. Should be like a where it says zero, it just says give me like a specific number. Let's try to see. Okay, not there. Not here. Neither. Not sure where then. It's nowhere. No. Just exit the throne room. Alright, well let's start working on uh, more pottery, I think. For the ceremony, we need 10 food. Let's slaughter some sheep so we can get more stuff. And we'll try to get some more olive as well. This diplomat needs pottery, which we should be able to give him soon. Yeah, go. And for the ceremony, we'll need two pottery, which we need to get. And 10. Now, in the palace room, we could now build an oil press or an archive. Which will give us knowledge. So this is actually really cool. This, what this does, it will allow us to, we're going to start building that, to turn knowledge into some of these upgrades so that we can get better buildings and etc. And we need someone to harvest the food here. For this theater, yeah, we're going to need the food and we're going to need the ceramics. But I actually think that this is a good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments and you can click on the right to watch some other real-time strategy games that we play on this channel. Actually, actually, before we finish, we get a bronze smelter. That's cool. And a garrison so we can fight. Yeah, we could actually click here and we can pick a specific upgrade. That's pretty cool. And that's going to allow us to build some cooler things. Well, like arts and crafts. Increase our knowledge and skill to produce valuable goods like jewelry or weapons more effectively. Nice. But like I said, we're going to end the episode here. Alright, bye bye!